Hello, everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of Rome's Cozy Kitchen. I'm Rome, and today I have a very special treat for you guys. I say that all the time, but this time, it's gonna blow your mind. It's changing the game, all right? I need to get a patent out on this. We are gonna be making Dorito Farrakake. We're gonna be toasting up stuff frying garlic, shallot, crushing Doritos, and other fun things, all right? Some stories along the way. Farikake is a Japanese rice seasoning. Usually it's like toasted sesame seed, tomato flake, nori, usual suspects. If anyone knows how to get something patent, just write down in the comments, that would be amazing because uh, I think this one is gonna be a hitter. So first thing, you know how to you know how to peel a shallot, you know, you know what the vibes is. So pretty much you want it to be nice and even rings. How many inches is it that? I don't know. But nice and thin. You see what we're working with here? Something like that. And this is just gonna add some crispiness, a little like nice little sweet, crispy onion flavor. You know, when you get your shallot, it's a good time to let let some tears out. It's, just, it's okay to cry sometimes. I like to cry from laughter. That's the best type of crying to me. <laughs> you know? How often do we get that? Not that often. Look, boom, boom, boom. Now we're gonna start working on some garlic. So I just like to take that little nib off right there. Do a few slices like this. If you have like a little uh, Roboku or something like that you can use, that's definitely fine. But I just like to pretty much julienne them. It's kind of annoying and do bigger chunks. Boom, boom, boom. Another fast way of doing it is just trying to like go like this. Boom, boom, boom. You're holding it. You call that the bridge. You go like that. Boom, boom, boom. Build your knife skills up. Get like me. While I'm cutting this and I'm look, I'm like being so patient. This is a great time to like and subscribe to Food 52, okay? Because that's an important thing to do. Why are you watching the video? Don't do that. Don't try to live here for free. You subscribe, okay? And you get to see me, Rick, Aaron. You know what I'm saying? All the homies. I'm rolling with the homies. <laughs> so now we got our shallot cut. We got our garlic nicely cut. We're gonna dredge these shallots in some cornstarch, all right? You, you can use rice flour, uh, potato starch, whatever starch you like that you have handy. Uh, but I just got cornstarch, it's gonna make it nice and crispy. You don't need too much. So you take your shallot and you just toss them. Make sure they're broken up, small pieces. You don't wanna do this to the garlic. The garlic is gonna get nice and crispy. You don't gotta, gotta worry about that, okay? Nice and coated, that's what we're looking for. Okay, shake a little bit of that off. It's that powder and some of that dust. Okay, so now we're gonna preheat some oil and we're gonna fry it. I'm gonna do the garlic first, then shallot in that order. Don't, if you do it any other way, I don't know, but I'm gonna do it that way because we got this cornstarch on it, right? So let's get into it. Now we're gonna start frying some things. Things are gonna be going and happening and being fast, all right? So I got my oil here. We're gonna wanna preheat this to around 250 degrees, nothing too crazy hot. And for this batch, it's such a small amount of garlic. I have a little fine mesh strainer right here. I'm gonna be sticking it in the oil with the garlic in it. I have a little spoon right here. I'm just gonna be stirring it around. Easy, boom. So now it's time to fry some shallot. Oh, ah, eh. Here. We fried the shallot, garlic, toasted the sesame seeds. Beautiful. We got some goju gari right here. That good, that good, good. A little spice, a little nice. And then we have some bonito flake. Gonna add a little bit of that. Some more umami. When it comes to cutting nori, right? There's a few different ways you can do it. 
So you can use a knife if you have a really sharp knife. Um, but a lot of things depend if it's like very humid outside, hands get sweaty, that can mess things up and warm up that sheet of nori. We'll just do it with scissors, very simple. So I like to do little strips. If you got a little kid that wants to do this, this will be perfect. You don't want too much crazy big chunks so you can move your scissors around like you're cutting some hair or something. Add, well, you know what I mean? If you want to add chili flake in there, you got some dry chili somewhere. Go for it. So now we're gonna start crushing up these Doritos, these sweet chili Doritos. If you can't find these in any of your convenience store, supermarket, you definitely use like spicy ranch, they got that now, spicy nacho, all that good stuff. Did you ever have those 3D Doritos? Oh yeah, I think about them from time to time too. I'm like, I remember the 3D Doritos with, uh, it was like for the first Star Wars, like the Phantom Menace or something like that when I was growing up. Crush those. Pokemon after school, that it's some Starburst. Pokemon is lit. And what we're looking for here is a nice, uh, like more or less around the size of like what the garlic was looking like, all right? Nice and coarse. It shouldn't take that long, right? Look, boom. Come on, man. Am I, am I a genius? Like that little dope bag, all right? Smell that up. Then we're just gonna add that. Oh, oh! Look at the, man, come, somebody gotta look at these colors real quick. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. Beautiful. And you know what's funny? You wanna know how I got the inspiration behind this? Very, very interesting story, all right? I was a youngin, a young lad on the block, all right? Let me take you back to that fateful day. The leaves were rustling outside, trees were swaying. I had to get inside quick, just got from school. I run into my house, take my book bag off. Homework, that can wait for later. No one's home. I know it's no food in the crib, so my brothers is just savages. So I get out my iPhone 4S, you know the vibes. I don't talk to Siri though, cause no one really used Siri in the hood like that. I call my local sushi spot. I'm like, hey, I would like some food right now, please. Preferably some spicy tuna rolls. I hang up the phone. I look on the coffee table right there by the TV. What do I see? Some sweet chili Doritos. Ready, my brothers didn't eat it. My face was a sigh of relief open up the bag, eat a few, sit. I'm watching TV, time goes by. And then I hear a knock on the door. I see this person hand me <laughs> some sushi, I grab it. I tip them, I thank them, I close the door. Get back to the TV, take a bite of sushi. You know, I'm, I'm hungry still, I'm, ah. so I take some chips, eat it. And then, out of my desperation and hunger, I take a piece of sushi, place a Dorito on top of it, and put it in my mouth. And oh my God, a firework started playing by Katy Perry. My mind was blown. I was like, oh shit. This is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. I remember a tear came down my eye, like Denzel and Glory. And I just stood there. I just stood there. After school, for little Romel, what were you snacking on? Snacking on, oh. So people, you guys are gonna kill me probably in the in the comments for this one, but my sister would pick me up from school and it would be like a pack, it would be a pack of beef ramen with strawberry milk on the side. That was like, I'll do anything for that, for that combination right there. Some of my favorite ways to use uh, this farikake, definitely, definitely on a quick poke bowl, some type of like tuna bowl situation. I like to use it on sushi. Sometimes I'm lazy, I just season some rice with some vinegar, a little salt, and throw it on that. But you could definitely throw this on some salad, like cucumber salad, things like that. And you know what, I want y'all to tell me how you would use this, because you're gonna make it, okay? How would y'all use it? What will you use it for? 
Let me know in the comments. Write me. Look at this. Woo! It's that Dorito Ferracake. I've been holding this one in my back pocket for so long. I'm so happy I got to make it for you guys, all right? This is gonna change the world, Craig. We made some poke with this, but this has so many different applications. I'm about to just taste this. Cause this is crazy. They said it couldn't be done. They laughed at me. They ridiculed me. And look. This is very good. So good. And I got something I want to read to you guys, right? Something beautiful, something very poetic. It's from my homie, Jacob Pope, what's good? You know what he said to me in my last video, the salmon jalapeno ranch? Like, it's probably some click it and watch it. But he said, Rome, Rome is such a good teacher, super relaxed, but at the same time, informative and concise with his information. Huge respect for noting that steelhead Rainbow Trout is not salmon, just similar. They could have just gotten away with it by saying it was salmon, but decided to be honest. Props to Rome. Because I love you, that's why. I love you, Jacob, and I love, I love everyone, all right? So hit me up, all right? Maybe I'll shout you out next time. I'm saying put, put your name up there on the big screen and the lights, all right? I'm about to take this, sit on the couch, and watch Family Feud or something, all right? I love you guys.